Hey guys, uh, thanks so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the um, textured like stone vessels that I posted about the other day on my Instagram. Um, it's quite easy and simple. Um, you can pretty much do it with a lot of household items. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it. It's something nice. You can add a really cool element of decor to your home or any space. So let's get to it. <laughs> so to start off, we're just gonna put some craft paper down and tape it to your surface. Um, I'm also going to use a little piece of um, cardboard just for um, extra easy cleanup at the end. In terms of your vessels, um, I just chose things that I had laying around the house that I wasn't using. So I have this little orb vase. I also have this empty juice container. It is a glass bottle. Um, you can use different um, types of material vessels. So it could be ceramic, it could be glass, it could be wood. Um, for supplies, we're going to go ahead and need a plastic knife, a craft sponge, and a brush. I chose this one because the bristles were um, pretty stiff and kind of worn. Um, that's going to help us to create more texture when we're painting. You'll need some paint, so I just have this acrylic paint and um, also this house sample paint. Um, you can use any paints that you have around the house. You'll need some baking soda, um, some spackle paste, also some coffee grounds, and lastly, you'll just need some clear coat to seal everything off at the end. And then in one of your cups, you're going to take some of the paint. Like open it. Mix up your paint really well before using it. If it is house paint, if not, you can just go ahead and pour some paint into your cup. You're gonna add in the baking soda. Um, I don't have a particular measurement that um, you can use. I just kind of add some in and then uh, what I'm doing there is I'm just kind of testing it on the side of the cup. So when you can feel the grittiness of it, um, that's pretty much where I just kind of call it and I use it like that. So you're just gonna start applying the um, paint and baking soda mixture um, just all over the whole vessel. You're gonna give it one good coat. Uh, for this particular um, glass one, um, you could see how there was still kind of like parts where you could see the glass. So you'll see how we go uh, with multiple coats over this. I like to pick one direction to do all the brush strokes. In this case, I went on um, with a horizontal brush stroke. Um, I just feel like you can really see it nicely across the surface of the vessel. Make sure to get inside of the rim of your vessels too, just in case, you know, if you're looking in, it doesn't look like glass from the top and, you know, that might make it not look like it's fully stone, which it's not, but um, it just makes the whole kind of look a little bit more believable. Now I'm going to apply that to the small orb. Again, I chose to just um, keep all my brush strokes in the same direction, going horizontally. You can paint the bottoms of the vessels. I just chose not to, but it's up to you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat to both of the vessels. Again, just um, making sure to get really good coverage on it. We'll go ahead and give the larger vessel a second coat as well. You can also see here with the paint how the um, leaves really kind of like show a little bit more now. So a little bit later down in the video, you'll see how I cover those up. I think by the end of the video, we went and gave it um, each one about three coats. Um, you can do as many as you'd like. To be honest, for this project, um, more is better. Uh, the more coats that we give it, the more kind of um, thick the paint's gonna get. There's gonna be way more texture showing. Uh, so in this case, more is better. <laughs> Here we're going in with the third coat of uh, paint on the larger vessel. 
you can already start to see that by um, this coat there's a lot of texture coming through and you can also see how the um, bristles are leaving really good um, texture and stroke marks on the surface of it. Now for um, the glass vessel that had the leaf pattern on it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the spackle and the plastic knife. I'm just going to go ahead and like really liberally um, spread it over the leaves. After you apply it with the plastic knife, you're just going to take your craft sponge. It's a little bit damp and you're just going to go ahead and kind of like smooth over the spackle a little bit just to help it transition um, both to the top of the bottle and down the sides. You can see how I kind of also take the remainder of the excess spackle um, all the way down just to make it a really nice transition and you can see how that adds extra texture to it as well. Of course, if your um, vessels don't have any texture that you're covering up, you could just skip this step. I would still use the spackle to um, add more texture to it. You're going to see in a little bit how I kind of go back and add a little bit of spackle here and there to add texture. I feel like I've said the word texture 3,000 times. I tried adding some kind of like stippling uh, texture there with the sponge, but I didn't end up liking it, so I just um, covered it up. The fun part about this project is that it's really easy. You can't kind of like mess it up. The more um, texture you put into it, the more you kind of like play with it, it just um, looks more real. So, um, you know, don't try to make it perfect. Technically, we're trying to recreate a look of like a really old and worn out um, bottle. So don't be like really clean with it. Don't think that it has to be super smooth. It's actually the opposite. The you know more rough you are with it and more texture you create, the better it's going to look at the end. By this point, the bottle is really, really kind of like built up with all the paint and the baking soda and the spackle. Uh, you can see here all the texture that we're getting, which is looking really, really good. I feel like I've said the word texture 3,000 times. For the smaller orb vessel, I decided to um, give it a darker color. So I went in with the black acrylic and I just added that into the remainder of the paint that I had. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, baking soda to that as well and give another coat to the small vessel. Once um, everything is dry, we're gonna go ahead and take the coffee crowns and just really go and get in there and spread it all around, really rub it in. Um, I use a little old cloth uh, towel as well just to kind of like take off the excess. You really wanna work in the uh, coffee grounds into all the crevices and really get into all the little cracks. It's really gonna make them pop out and make them a lot more noticeable. It's also gonna give it a look like if it has um, kind of dirt built up on it, like if this has been sitting outside for many years, it's been a little forgotten and just kind of um, building up all this really cool um, texture. My hands are so soft after doing this, it really exfoliates your hands, so that's a plus. And 
just keep adding uh, the coffee just a little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, wipe it off, um, take a look at it, see where it might need a little bit more. Um, it's a process, so don't think you know you have to just do it once super even. Um, you can kind of leave some areas without as much coffee um, to kind of make them a little bit lighter. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, remember? Here's a little close up. You can see how it's really getting into all of those little crevices and making all of those like really cool um, marks really pop out. I went back and added a little bit more um, spackle here and there just to add extra texture. Again, the good thing about this is that it doesn't have to be perfect. There's no real um, kind of like specific way to do it right or wrong. You can just add here and there, uh, step back, take a look if you want to add a little bit more spackle. And you can, that's the easy thing about it. The more we add to it, the more layers of texture we're going to get. I just took the craft sponge again a little bit damp and just uh, smoothed over those added spackle areas. For the small orb vessel, um, the technique is just a little bit different. We kind of uh, go in with the spackle kind of and spread it out all over. It's going to really get into all those little um, grooves and crevices and really um, make all the texture pop out with the dark color. Little by little, I just add a little bit of spackle and then I go ahead and rub it in with my hands. I really rub it in to wear it out uh, so that it looks um, not so stark white, but really kind of like um, almost like a chalky covering if it had one. That's why I go in with the little rag and um, take off all the excess. I also use the craft sponge just a little bit damp to kind of uh, spread things out a little bit easier. We're also going to go in with the coffee for this vessel. It's really going to give it like an old kind of dirty look to it, which is kind of like the look we're going for. I really focused on the bottom of this vessel. I just kind of went with the idea of like um, thinking that this little vessel, you know, had been sitting outside maybe in the dirt for a really long time. So the bottom of it would be really dirty. Once the spackle dried on the other vessel, I went back in with the coffee. But you can see how it was kind of still a little bit wet. So the coffee stained it a little bit more and I didn't necessarily like that too much. So you could just, you know, what I did, I just went in with my craft sponge. I just kind of smoothed it out a little bit, went in with the rag. There's really no like wrong thing that you can do to it. So if you don't like something, either cover it up with more spackle or try to rub it off. You can kind of um, just fix it a little bit. There's really no mistakes that you can make. So there you have it. That's the final look on those two. You can see how we really achieved a really textured look. Um, the baking soda and paint is great. It really builds up and gives you all that kind of like stone texture, which is amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this tutorial today. I hope you guys really uh, found it fun and easy to do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like. And um, I'd love to hear you guys' comments if you guys uh, went out and tried it out. Um, I'd love to hear how that went for you guys. Um, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I plan to do a lot more um, content on DIYing and home decor and lifestyle things. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.